Hello everyone and welcome to another Unit Forward Moving Picture. I'm Alex and in this video I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to take a look at a piece of hardware, a piece of airbrush hardware, which is this. This is the BA1100 airbrush compressor, um, which isn't from Badger, it's actually made by another company, but um, you know, it's it's widely um, advertised as a Badger air compressor, and you know, it's made for Badger air compressors basically. And I'm not sure, maybe Badger has some sort of deal going on with the hobby company, which is the company that makes th this compressor. But I recently got this compressor because you know I wanted to get into airbrushing. I bought myself um, a Badger Chrome airbrush, and you know, I needed a good quality, decent compressor for you know for the budget that I was looking at. I was looking at about 100 pounds for my compressor. And I found this. So let's have a look and see what this is like. And first thing to note is that it's really, well, it's not really heavy, but it is heavy. It's significantly weighty. Um, so let's have a look and see at, you know, what you get on this compressor. So you get the compressor itself. Let's try and turn this around a little so you can see all the, all the different details um, on the top. You get the two air, um, airbrush holders, which you can, you know, which come separate, and you just, you know, plunk them in, and there you go. Um, that's on there as well. You have um, the compressor itself on top here. You have a three-liter air tank on the bottom of the compressor, which is really handy for, you know, and it's something that you should look for when you get a compressor because basically, if you don't have an air tank, then the compressor has to continuously run in order to to provide, to provide your airbrush with air. But if you have an air tank, then the compressor pressurizes the air tank, and when the air tank is sufficiently pressurized, in other words, when there's enough air in the tank, then the compressor turns off, and only turns on again when it needs to pressurize the tank again. Um, you save your motor, and the compressor doesn't have to continuously run. So, let's turn this around, and you get on the front here. There's a you know an air, um, an on-off button. There is your um, your pressure valve. Here with the dial that you turn to, um, you know, dial in different types of pressure for your airbrush. There's a moisture trap on the front here as well. Let's turn this guy around. And yeah, that's basically it. You know, just some some stickers here, some warning signs, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's a solid piece of kit that I actually got on sale um, because of well, because of this basically. A um, little bit of paint damage, and because of that, the price was reduced by 20 30 pounds. So, normally, normally this, this compressor retails in the UK for about 100 110 pounds, and I got it for 90. So, hey, you know, I'm not going to be looking at my compressor continuously when I'm airbrushing. You know, I'm going to be focusing on what I'm actually airbrushing, I'm going to be looking at the model. So, I don't care if there's a bit of paint damage on the, on the compressor, it doesn't bother me at all. So, this is a sturdy compressor. Um, and I wanted to make a video about it because there are no videos, other videos about this compressor on YouTube at all, none. Um, I've searched and there are no other videos about this at the moment, at the time of making this video. So I wanted to make one because I've seen some people like asking forums, like, you know, what is this compressor all about? You know, how good is it? Is it, have, has anyone used it? And I just want to make a video about it to, to show you what it's like. And now what I'm going to do is plug it in because one of the cool things about this compressor is that it's rated, the noise rating is 47 decibels, which is pretty quiet um, for a compressor, especially one of this price. So I'm gonna plug it in and let you hear, you know, what it sounds like so to you know, show you how quiet it actually is. Okay, so I've plugged in the compressor into the mains and I've also attached um, an airbrush hose as well. A, this is a Badger um, uh, braided airbrush hose that I, that I bought because, well, you know, you don't have to get braided, you can get vinyl hoses and they work just as well, but, you know, I, I just wanted to get, you know, it's my first airbrush compressor, it's my first airbrush as well, and I just want to go with decent stuff to kind of improve the initial experience, so to speak. So um, I've turned this on, or well, plugged it in, and let's see what it sounds like. That isn't actually that loud. Especially for a compressor. I've heard compressors that are really loud and you know really just take over you know the room. But as compressors go, this isn't that loud. I'll pick it up. 
Okay, it's going to rattle if I pick it up, so... It's not actually that bad as compressors go, and if you put it on the floor, then you know, the carpet dampens the sound, so... Again, you know, it's not actually that loud. So, um, yeah, let's plug in an airbrush, actually. So I've got this guy, Renegade Chrome, which I'm going to take out, and I'm going to screw into the hose, and I'll show you... Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the lid off the, the airbrush because, you know, I'm not putting paint in there, but... There you go, works perfectly well. There's no paint in here, so I can just spray it around. And there you go. And it is actually quieter than this. If you put it on the floor, on the carpet, it's actually even quieter than this. So, let's turn it off. And as you can see, there's still air in the tank, so, you know, I can still use the airbrush. Um, and once the, air, once the air tank is fully pressurized, then the compressor will switch off and it'll basically it'll be like this basically so yeah that is a look at the badger ba1100 um airbrush compressor which as i said i wanted to do a video on don't worry my airbrush, my airbrush didn't just drop um i wanted to do a video on this because there are none available out there and if you can grab hold of this, um, I'm not sure how easy it is to get in the States. Probably fairly easy, I would imagine. Um, in the UK, if you search around on Google, you will find this compressor going for um, anywhere between like 90, 100, 110 pounds. And I would recommend it. So, yep, that's a look at the BA1100 um, airbrush compressor. Labelled as from Badger, but actually made by the hobby company. So, oop, just letting some air out there. So, if you like this video, then um, please like. If you disliked it, then you know hit dislike. Um, if you want to subscribe, then please do so, so you'll be informed when the next video comes out on this channel. And until the next video, see ya.